have arrived. Oh, yes. Uh, Artist? Hmm? I have a Chili's ad on your channel. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't Artist. go to Applebee's. No, don't go to Chili's. Go to go to a Chef Perius's coffee shop. We have probably some bakery goods, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you could... We could put some milk in the freezer and you could eat that, maybe. That sounds dis... Di Disgalicious? Disgustlicious? <laughs> Troubling, perhaps? Yes. That's the term I would use. <laughs> anyway, artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, uh, apparently advertiser of... What was it? Chili's, did you say? Yes, Chili's. <laughs> you can Baby call me Tiberius rips. Vanderfield. And tonight, I am joined by... The Shappy Shaps. Um, I love bar I like barbecue sauce. Mm. I am ambivalent towards barbecue sauce. I have no strong feelings regarding it. Ambivalence. I, I, I know, I, I've heard that and I've used it before. Mm -hmm. Ambivalence. Ambivalent. Would Having you like a definition? Having feelings or contradictory, contradictory ideas about someone, something, or someone. That, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, I don't believe I don't believe you mentioned what was it, the other thing you mentioned? Ribs of some variety? Baby back ribs. I don't believe I've ever had those. They're the ribs of a baby? Mm -hmm. On the, the back parts of the rib? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Anyway, tonight, Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. Yes. Let's see. We're what else is coffee. there? Hmm? We talk to coffee. Indeed. And also talk with or around coffee. Yes. But yes. Let's see. What else is there to say before we get started? Uh, I suppose there's not much more schedule for me. This is my first and last stream of this week. Yes. Anything uh, else from you this week, Sheps? Mm, nope. <laughs> mm. Understandable. Anything for you next week that you would like to discuss? More spookiness. We're going to be doing yeah. some more spooky games. Spook Spooktober is on full swing. Mm. And uh, I'll be playing games from a roulette wheel because I don't know what to play next. Mm. So I'll be doing that. And then and play some more Baldur's Gate because I need to get to Act 3 because I'm mm. tired of seeing spoilers on TikTok and YouTube. I want to know what it's all about. <laughs> Understandable. I should probably play Baldur's Gate again. I've played it precisely once. Ah. And when I say um, played it once, I mean launched it once. Baldur's Gate 3? Three. 3, yes, the third one. Mm. Yes, I played it and then I... Uh, Forgot to level up once I got out of the tutorial area, and I got into a fight, and I died immediately. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What, what you should do is let the game's claws hook you in, and mm -hmm. then become hopelessly addicted. Mm -hmm. like I'll consider a, that. Like a drug that you just cannot get out of cold turkey, and just, it consumes your life, and all you can think about what does Carlac's lips taste like in the moonlit night? I can't say I'm terribly familiar with that character. <laughs> uh, you'll meet her. You'll meet her. Right. It's Thanks. not a spoiler. You'll, it's like really near the beginning. Mm -hmm. well, yes, anything you would like to talk about for next week? Or no, I already asked that, right? More spooky uh, games. Yes. More spooky Any specific games. dates that you would like to say? Times and or dates. Um, thanks for giving me the floor. I, um... Of course. Didn't have anything planned. I try to do five... Every time I try to do five or more streams a week, I, I struggle with that. Um, I, uh, I need to lower everyone's expectations with that need to go ahead and um, reduce my bandwidth. Mm -hmm. um, 
from maybe like five streams a week to maybe three streams a week. I've done five streams a week uh, 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 in a row before, but it left me so drained. So um, I, I have so much I want to do, though. That's the problem. And I only have so much time to do it because I have in real life responsibilities. Yes. Like making death robots and ex and experimental explosive technology and ways to throw that experimental explosive technology in very far distances, usually rocket propelled. Have you considered having some of your death robots throw the ex experimental explosive technology? Who do you think mines the stuff or and or steals it from people that don't really need it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. such as rogue governments. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> yes, as for myself, I also do not have any specific plans. Um, I've been one. I, on the other hand, have been wanting to go up a little bit and stream somewhat more consistently. It's been a little bit of a struggle for me recently. And, I don't know, I feel like I keep saying this, but I do... <laughs> I do intend to get back to streaming every week, ideally, and streaming more than once on the weeks that I do stream. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that will happen again soon. But, uh, you know, not to get into too much detail, but I have learned a lot that I need to take better care of myself. And so that is my current priority over, over any amount of streaming. Oh. Yes, it is a little bit of an unfortunate reality, but hopefully I will be feeling better soon. I hope you do too. Yes. But yes. So, I think that's basically everything that needs to be said. Nice. Then, I suppose, we might as well get into the game. Let's Video games. Alright. While I'm on the topic of Wi-Fi adapters, do you know any brand? Oh, TP-Link. Okay, I see one. Ah, oh, few details. That means it is out of stock, probably. Mm. That is the one I want right here. Yup, that is the one I want. But yes, in order to answer your question, I do not know. <laughs> I do not know basically anything about any uh, wireless infrastructure, to be honest. Ah, I see. My my desktop computer doesn't even have a Wi-Fi card in it because it is on the same desk as my router. So I, I just see. have it hooked up to Ethernet 100% of the time. I see. I also have my laptop plugged into Ethernet 100% of the time, but it does have Wi-Fi capabilities. Uh, the, the need is not... Uh, what's the word? Pressing? Pressing. Yes, the need is not pressing at this time for a Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. I, everything I use is wired because wired is is consistent. It works. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed. Unless there's a crinkle or a short in the wire. In which case, just replace the wire. It's hard to replace the air that the wireless signal goes through. Exactly. You don't know if someone's running a large mag uh, like magnetic microwave uh death ray pointed at your base is that a common concern for you yes actually hmm. i must admit my neighbors don't typically do that around where i live so i haven't had to deal with that it's it's all corporate espionage really i should not be talking about it mm -hmm. uh, i already have assassins looking for me at a, a whenever wherever i go mm -hmm. so yes shall we begin yes let's do this all right. Uh, do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Hmm. Hmm. Not very chatty oh. today. Oh, man. Oh, 
Well, it's our favorite girl, Aqua. Come on, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Shapirius. Evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Uh, same old. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Oops. <laughs> I, I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Shapirius. Another, uh, and another word, um, speaking of which, I, I've mm -hmm. once did that to someone where I just kept on asking back and forth until the, uh, it, like, they didn't realize it, but I, I managed to get someone to do that, like, five times where I say, yeah, hey, I'm good. How about you? Mm -hmm. And they would repeat, well, they would repeat, I I'm doing good. How about you? And over and over again, I managed to do that five times. Mm. Was this intentional? <laughs> Yes, it was a, mm. it was a fa it was like a cousin of mine. I fucked with their head. I gaslit them. Mm -hmm. it was a super gaslight. It, it felt great to have that sense of mental control over someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have you with mind control explosions. <laughs> yes, we have you with us now. Of course, are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. Oh, I just so wanted cute. to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Uh-huh. Yup. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, uh, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It, it's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Tea, lemon. Oh, this is new. Mint. Yeah, we definitely didn't have that before. I think so. Yes, anyway, it's not relevant because we know exactly what to make. Tea. Lemon, cinnamon, Russian, Russian tea. tea. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm not mistaken. It's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure that the only part that's Russian is the name. <laughs> it was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Oh, whoa. That's a highly specific fun fact to know. <laughs> I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. <laughs> <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. I, I'm sorry. I said, you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh. That would be crazy. Why? Oh, no. I, I, I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Shepirius. Make sure you get enough rest. That's, that's what I was that's talking right. about earlier. Yeah, th that also goes... She's also talking to you, uh, chat. So, yes. Yes. Shape Which up. Can... Shape up. <laughs> of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Y yes? Where did you come... Where did you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? Mm. Oh. I wasn't aware that I should have been doing an accent. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm from the ocean. So maybe you should go... I feel like Whoa. that make her, make her tone a little bit sillier than I would like to go for. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. 
when did you move here? Facing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? Mm. No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. Do you know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know? But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been, have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. You know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. We're still in contact. Hey, we do a video call at least once a week. How, how do they... Hmm? How do they... How do they do that? Underwater? They've just got better infrastructure for it. In I this suppose. world in which there are, is a civilization that lives underwater that is has contact with the mainland. That's so cool. Yes. That's all. That's so cool. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. <laughs> My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Wow. That's a lot. Do you really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Oh, sorry. Holy! How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid, and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job. While taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway. I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Espresso. She has one, she has one mm -hmm. right in front of her. <laughs> he wants another one right in front of her. I'm not and one. Just to double check that. Hmm? It's, it's coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. The name you should know. I've made that joke before. I should remember this. <laughs> Man, I kind of want to watch Kirby right back at you again. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby is the show. Kirby's the star Kirby, of the Kirby show. He's the star of the show. Your espresso's ready. Thanks. Bitter. <laughs> Just the way I love it. Oh. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Would you like to take this one? Sure. Good evening. Oh. Um. Uh, how can I help you, sir? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to order. It's Something to raise your... It's hard for me to see the menu. <laughs> mm. uh, Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. Nothing oh. you like on the menu? Oh. I can make you a custom drink if you like. Uh, actually, <laughs> are you familiar with STMJ? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Uh, if you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Oh, oh, oh look at me! Oh, STMJ stands for Susutala Madu. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. <laughs> well, 
As far as I'm aware, we don't have any eggs on our shelf, but we've got milk, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, you have the eggs? I certainly have. Okay, apparently we do have eggs. They're not on the shelf. Oh. <laughs> oh. Once again, I have predicted the future. Anyway, but I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> One cup of steam jerk, please. <laughs> All right. What was the order of those again? Um, your, was it milk? Um, I think it was milk, egg, honey, ginger. Well, we don't need to add the egg, but uh, milk, honey, ginger. Milk. Oops. Honey. There we go. Milk, honey, ginger. I need ginger mm. milk. <laughs> this... I guess. I don't think. I don't think that's it. Mm. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Yeah, I guess. How do you does... how do you add egg to it? I mean, we the way it was phrased makes it seem like we don't. It makes it seem like just the game will do that as part of this sequence. Give me a second. Yeah. Milk? I mean, there's only so Maybe, many... No, put milk, ginger, honey. Trash it. Milk, ginger, honey. Heard. Yes. Milk, ginger, honey. Because, yeah, I was going to say, there's only one other combination, because milk does have to be the first one. There, there it go. is. There we go. I knew that didn't seem right. Here's your STMJ, sir. Oh, that smell. Oh, it brings back so many memories. <laughs> it's quite difficult to find a place with such with a proper STMJ here in the States. <laughs> I've traveled to so many places. And all of them get it right. <laughs> Can't afford one to manage it. Oh. Uh, 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 excuse me, <laughs> may I ask you girls something? Uh, sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays with the TikToks and the, the Twitters? Uh, excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. Hmm. Oh, I see. Let us scoot closer. Uh. <laughs> uh. May I ask how you are? <laughs> uh. You're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh. oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, hey, Shapirius. I just... Oh, who, is, who is this nervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand the young people. <laughs> what... What is a skibbity toilet? <laughs> what is... A, What's a Jumbo Josh? I cannot answer what's, either of those questions. What's what's a what's a Fortnite? <laughs> Why do people like Fortnite? It's just the time of it's just a measurement of the of the time of day. <laughs> it's a number of days, actually. Oh, you, you smartass! <laughs> Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? It's a creepy man trying to flirt with us. Where? Uh, you mean him? Yes, but, but not so loud. <laughs> this man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. 
He asked to meet me. So I told him to come here. Uh oh. I didn't know Rachel's dad was a perfect old man. I wonder why she ran away from home. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Shapirius. Oh, please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry... Hendry Furlong? Yes. <laughs> And you're Rachel Florencia's father. Yes. <laughs> Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? I mean, I have a different oh. last name from my parents. You do know that people can change their names, right? And, and happy. Do you know there's things called stepchildren? You know, that's a thing. <laughs> See? Told ya! Told ya! <laughs> Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Way to be a dick, Freya. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I was such a dick. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Oh, oh, oh. Now my heart is hurting. I need hmm. my medicine. Uh, Freya? Oh, okay, I, I think I'm, I think I better work on my novel so I don't cause any more social faux pas. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. <laughs> uh, Freya, I'll come with you. <laughs> guy's, guy's creepy. Uh, anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Mm -hmm. It's about Rachel. That night when he drove her home, was she hanging out with some shady people? No oh. one shadier than us. Oh. 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 Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. <sighs> she was in this coffee talk, talking with Frey and Shapirius here. She wasn't in any danger. Oh, 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 sure. What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Oh. Oh, that's just that. I feel she's getting more and more distant. Oh. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what the kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. Hmm. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. Be there when, but be there when they need you. Or, or you could just bribe them. One time, I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakhouse. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> what if... What she loves doing is the problem, though. Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but her entertainment industry isn't a kind place. I'm not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Oh, Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Oh, we're forced to do drugs. Did something happen? Well, no, nothing's happened. Uh, yeah. I, I just feel it in my guts. Oh. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I, I don't know. Maybe. 
Chaperius, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Oh, the squishy noises. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. But every time I brought it up... That's probably why she doesn't want to uh, discuss it with you, to be honest. We just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she makes the wrong choices? <laughs> I can do a background check on that manager. If that will ease your mind. Oh, please do. Oh. Okay, give me a name. He could, he could do it through his phone? Apparently. It's Morris. Uh, last, uh, last name Lester. Morris Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Huh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Oh wow, that was quick. Hold on, I gotta take this. I just got a call, I've gotta go. Uh, I'd love to talk more about this with you, but uh, let's meet again soon. What? Wait, what? You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Oh, oh my. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be all right. Oh. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Oh. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk with Rachel. With her want to do more of her own stuff. I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the, the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think she's in for, uh, it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Ever even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready! I don't want her to get hurt! There's a lot of bad people out there! There's people that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. But it's what, what's best for her. <laughs> oh. Is it really what's best, though? Really? Really? I think she's born to soar. Hmm. Oh. That's right. I should put her in pilot school. <laughs> Pilots. But, oh, but she's just a girl. <laughs> A little girl! <laughs> Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. Ugh. Doesn't matter she's whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. Oh. I was once a stubborn yard girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. Or... I'd, I'd love to hear it. Is, is it okay if I stay a little longer, Shapirius? Take all the time you need.
short day. Right. You want to do another? Uh, and honestly, I'm still a little bit tired. Oh, okay. So I'm, a, I'm uh, okay with a shorter day if you are. Okay, sounds good. We didn't read the, uh, the phone. We haven't story. yet, no. We've got a nasty habit of not doing that until the day after the story comes out, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Rachel, my daughter, she's my little girl. The evening whispers. Werewolf representatives push the ministry for more accessible sedative. Doctor from Salak Town arrested for experimenting with child clothing. Whoa. Military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. Wow, that's very topical. Wow. Mm. <laughs> that's extremely topical. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, so that would have been. Whoop, there we go. This one. You want to get it? You want to take it? I think I took the last one, right? Yeah. Oh, did or I? No, you, you did. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, you took the last one, so yes, this would be this would be mine, I suppose. <coughs> room service, get... Or, yeah, room service, get this order to room 512. The order came around 10.30 p.m. I was doing nothing, or in other words, I was waiting for an order to come. I was tasked to take a bottle of wine and a couple packs of condoms. Yes, sometimes guests really do ask for things like this. Talk about being unprepared. The person in charge that night gave me the requested items and let me out of my room to deliver them. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, from there, I went to the lobby and waited for the elevator to arrive. While I was waiting, a guest came in behind me and pressed the button to call the elevator. He looked at me in awe. I smiled back at him, showing him the little smile hotel management taught me. He smiled back. When we got into that elevator, he pushed the button for the third floor. Silence filled the tiny room. As we ascended, the guest pulled his phone from his pocket and started recording me. This again, I thought. I didn't do anything about it. To be precise, I can't do anything about it. It's part of the job, after all. We reached the third floor. The guest left while still pointing his camera at me. At me. At me. At me. At me. I waited, alone, until the elevator reached the fifth floor a few seconds later. I left the elevator and started towards room 5122. When I was in front of the door, I rang the bell to let the occupants know I'd arrived. It's here! I can hear the muffled voice of a woman. The door opened. Look, hun, they really do use a robot to deliver room service, the woman shouted back to her partner. <laughs> That is so cool, the guy responded, trying to sound interested, though I'm sure he was staring at the woman's butt and couldn't wait to use the stuff they'd ordered. I want to take a picture with the robot, okay? The woman said in a saccharine, sweet, mildly nauseating tone. Sure, hon. Wait, are you sure it's okay to just hug the robot like that? Huh. Turns out the man could think with his big brain after all. It's fine. I saw they even have a robot that you can have, have uh, relations with. I'm sure a simple hug won't matter, said this woman. That's a different model. What's next? You're going to hug a Terminator? I screamed internally. Say cheese then. One, two, three, flash. Looks so cute. I was hoping it might be more human-like. Maybe they don't have that technology for that yet, said the adult woman who still hadn't grasped the concept of look but don't touch. Okay, come on, darling. This robot has got other things to do. Let's just take our order and let it do its work. They took their order and closed the door. Oh, humans. How did you manage to how did your people manage to survive for so long in this universe? I wondered as I trundled back down to my room. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I think some of the other ones were a little bit better. I like the cat one. The punchline for that one was very funny. The Anxious Boy and His Love Stories on Public Transport. Yes, that's the but story for this this day. That's the story for this day. Yes. All right. So, yeah, so once we do this day, we will read that story if we remember. <laughs> Which is not a given. Right. <laughs> so yeah, do we want to look at... 
Let's see. Aqua. Ah, yes, we have more information from Aqua. It's a mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert. E lover. Favorite things? Full Metal Conflict, video games in general, grandma. Yes, what I'm doing with my life. Move to Seattle to achieve Se yeah, Seattle, rather, to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the, the place and person the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Nice. And Henry. Henry. Aw. Yes. That is cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one thing that I noticed about Henry. Hmm? Oh, you can go uh, go ahead. Finish what you're saying. Yeah, I was going to say one thing I noticed about Henry is that he has, you know, he has glasses. I'm sure you saw that. Uh, but, like, he doesn't have the human ears on the side of his head, so they just kind of stick into nothingness. Which I thought was kind of funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of the time. Might, maybe hmm? it's, like, special... Maybe it's special glasses that like adhere nicely to uh, the bridge of your nose. I don't know. I don't know. They did definitely have like the I don't know what the term for it is, but the part that sticks back and would normally loop around a person's ears. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that would normally rest on the ears, and uh, yeah, they definitely were there, and they definitely weren't resting on anything that I could tell. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of the time, a lot of the time in, you know, when you have a character design like that where they don't have the human ears, if they do have glasses, the place where the glasses go is typically, like, covered up by something like hair or whatever else. Right. Make it not obvious. Make it non-obvious in general. But I noticed on his model, or not his model, I guess his sprite, that it's, it's, just, it's just fully visible. <laughs> Right. Which I thought was noteworthy. Anyway, I suppose that is that for the day. It's interesting how. Oh, I was gonna say it's interesting how there's like not a picture on the save file, but I guess maybe that it just saves whoever we're talking to when we save it. I guess so. I guess so, because it didn't have one for a moment there, and now it did have one. But yeah. Anyway. Let us return to the studio. That's short stream. Short stream. Leah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, anything else you would like to say before we call it? I'm good. I think that's yeah. I think that's uh we've covered everything in the beginning. Yeah. Um yeah, given still the trying to... but I don't oh. go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, given the shortness of it, I feel like we probably don't need to cover too much. If you've been here from the beginning and been engaged, you probably were engaged enough to still remember that at this point. Yeah. I um, I, keep, I feel bad for, like, letting, like, my audience down because I, like, I have days where I say that that stream, but I end mm -hmm. up, like, lo losing steam over the week. And I, I just don't feel like streaming. And I feel really bad about that. I, I can I can sympathize. I I, under, I understand that feeling. I experience that feeling. Yeah. But uh, most of my audience is very loving people who understand that I'm very lucky to have such wonderful people that watch me. And uh, yeah. So it's, I don't think it's uh, too big of a deal. But I don't want to take advantage of that like mm -hmm. that expectation. I don't want to become a, have it become the 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 rule uh, mm -hmm. instead of the exception yeah that i keep on uh canceling out stream because i don't have energy but mm -hmm. i just have so many games i think i have i have armored core 6 that i've never touched yet i have Baldur's skate i have art i want to do i have spooky games i want to play i have a model i want to actually draw i have mm -hmm. um i don't know yeah, games that I had put off like, um, uh, what was it? What's it called? It's not Nintendo Wars. It's Advance Wars. Advance, Advance Wars. Wars. Yeah, uh, Advance Wars that I I played for like two days and didn't didn't touch again. Got to get mm -hmm. back to that. I want to play some retro RPGs. You know, like Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI. 
eventually play those on stream just so I can show everyone how good I am at those games. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, yeah it, as for myself, a- I've just kind of been just kind of been tired in general. I think yeah. yeah. Yesterday was the first time in about uh one to two weeks that I've even played a video game. Oh my. I played some Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. And then I played some more Elden Ring today. Oh yeah, I gotta start playing Elden Ring again before the DLC comes out. Whenever mm. that does. I went to Weeping Peninsula for the first time. Was it Weeping? It was. It was a peninsula too. What was it crying about? Oh, there's a lot, a lot. <laughs> there's a lot going on in the world to cry <laughs> about in Elden Ring, to be honest. It's true. Very true. But yes. Uh, I suppose, unless there's anything else you want to mention, we can get into picking a raid target and raiding. Well, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Do you have anyone in mind? Nah. Let's see if there's anyone that's doing a birthday or something. There's probably someone in the world doing a birthday, yes. Is there a birthday stream or <laughs> an anniversary, anniversary celebration or... Twenty fifth birthday for this person. Um, oh, not really. I don't have a. T- I don't have a target. Fair enough. Um. Let's see. Uh, how about uh Mercury Mimic? They're playing some Elden Ring. It looks like. Actually, uh, how do you? Are, is the potential for Elden Ring spoilers an issue for you? I beat the game. Okay, so no. Yes, I married my wife at, uh, at the end, and I surf the stars. Nice. And s- to search for the Golden Order to destroy it, because the Golden Order, the Order sucks. All right, then I think we might go and <laughs> raid Mercury Mimic. Yeah. Coincidentally, my uh, my first character was a ice sorceress, so uh, destroyed everything with ice magic because it was so broken, and they nerfed it. I beat the game before they nerfed it, so. <laughs> but can you do it again now that they have? Probably. That's the question. Absolutely. Yeah, probably. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, raid get that started once again not really a schedule to speak of for either of us as i understand it so i suppose we can just sort of go for it i oh right the raid message is as always we have arrived the customary raid message i should say because that's what i always say and yeah i think that should basically cover us so Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. Goodbye. Goodbye.